the American Eagle Fighter Squadron has completed its training and now takes its place in the front line of the RAF Defense of Britain. Many of them were civilian pilots in the States, but wartime flying presented an opportunity which they couldn't resist. So they made tracks to the nearest recruiting center and enlisted in the ever-growing ranks of the American Eagles. Steve Pisanos was a Greek who flew with the American Eagle Squadron. He was the first to get citizenship by dint of serving with the American forces. So I go interview him, and in his broken English, he tells me of how in Greece he always wanted to fly, but in Greece, he said, only rich people fly. So he worked his way over here to this country on a tramp steamer, and he jumped ship by swimming ashore in Baltimore Harbor. He wandered around the docks and finally got to New York, and not speaking any English at all, found his way to a Greek movie house. And there he ran into someone, obviously, to talk to, and they gave him a job. Well, he worked in a kitchen shucking oysters. He saved every penny he made, and every time he got $10 together, he would buy a flying lesson. The guys at Westfield Airport loved the Greek spunk. They told him that he could learn to fly for nothing if he'd volunteer with the RAF. So he ended up with the Americans in the Eagle Squadron. The squadron, of course, went overseas early on. When America came into the war, it was taken into the U.S. Air Force. Well, Pisanos was one of the first fighter pilots over Berlin, it turned out. He shot down 10 German planes, and he was himself shot down. He evaded capture for six months, fought his way back finally to the Eagle Squadron. That's how Steve Pisanos became an American citizen. He retired years later as an Air Force Colonel. And that's how a mongrel nation, by the way, would win the war. <laughs>